Alright, so we're going to pop open the uh, MSI wind. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws to remove. Uh, this one is on the bottom, uh, underneath the warranty sticker, and it says void if tampered, so you need to break through the sticker uh, to get that one out. So you're just going to carefully unscrew all the screws. Make sure that you uh, removed your battery before you started taking the screws out because the case won't open without the battery being removed. Uh, that's removed by these two tabs. You just pull them toward the outside of the machine that unclips the battery. And one more. Now sometimes the actual base itself can be tricky to get off, but you want to uh, you want to start with the side that's not that doesn't have the uh, main peripheral connectors on it. So the power side, you want to grab it from the back and then pull it lightly. And then you want to kind of push it toward the peripheral side. And then it comes right off. So there's a number of reasons why you'd be opening up your wind. Uh, some reasons I did were to upgrade the memory, which is right here. So you're you're just gonna have your your uh, your RAM. You push it into this upgrade slot. It'll only accept up to a gigabyte. Uh, and push it down, and your memory is upgraded. Uh, you can take the hard drive out if you want to do that. Um, this is the wireless card. Uh, mine happens to be the Realtek. You can upgrade it to the Dell version, the Dell model, um, which will allow you to run uh, natively in OS X, so you don't have to use the Realtek driver utility. And OS X will recognize it as a regular airport card instead of an ethernet port. Um, that's pretty much all you'd want to be in here for. So that's the, uh, the opening of the case. This is the MSI desktop, the older brother of the MSI note netbook. Um, and I just recently set this up. Let's take a look at start time for this. Besides the initial fan startup, it's probably just about as quiet as the, the netbook. This is also running OS X. The setup for it was almost identical to, to the netbook in terms of installing OS X. Um, the only difference that I remember was not having to install an extra script to run the headphone jack. That works perfectly fine uh, right out of the box. Um, and your drivers for video are the only things you're going to have to worry about. There's a JAS file you need for that. And that was exactly a minute too. So startup time is uh, exactly the same as the netbook. When you go to build this uh, machine, uh, you're going to need a DVD drive. The one I got happens to be uh, LG, so it's a good drive. Um, everything you connect to the computer has to be SATA. Nothing will work besides SATA, so that's important. When you get in there, you'll realize um, that you need SATA hookups and that's it. 
So regular DVD drives for, for older computers won't work. Um, and I also have a 500 gigabyte SATA hard drive that was added. And uh, one 2 gig stick of RAM for memory. That's the maximum that this box will, will accept.